Dan, I think I was in the second collapse or uh, an explosion right after that because I was trying to make my way around Stuyvesant High School. I believe that's correct. I'm not a New Yorker. But I was coming um, toward the World Trade Center looking for CBS crews and asked a firefighter if I, he saw any. He told me to walk down the middle of the road. All of a sudden, there was a roll, an explosion, and we could see coming at us a ball of flame stories high. He and others screamed, run, and I ran. Uh, I fell. One of them picked me up. We ran as fast as we could, and then he threw me into the wall of a building and covered me. Forgive me. I am, in his, I am in his debt. You know, Dan, I know firefighters do incredible work all of the time, but this was exceeded anything that I can imagine. He threw me into a wall, covered me with his body. Uh, I could feel his heart banging against my back. We were both so sure we were going to die. The flame somehow stopped short of us. But whatever collapsed created, and you saw it in some of that video, Dan, a rain of cinders so thick that you couldn't see this far in front of you and you couldn't breathe. A police officer, and I wish I knew the firefighter's name, a police officer by the name of Brendan Duke grabbed my hand and he and I tried to find our way through it until we could hit a clearing in the light. What you're seeing on the ground here, Dan, was in the air and, um, and you couldn't see. And again, we thought we were finished. We somehow got to the light Another firefighter gave me his mask for a moment so I could breathe. And then I made my way somehow through the smoke into the light to our crews. Um, there was a cameraman there whose head was bloody and he was trying to shoot and set up some of these shots there. Um, the firefighters, the police, the crews, the people. People streamed toward me as I made my way to the Trade Center, sobbing and crying and trying to call home on dead cell phones, but they couldn't get through. Um, there is so much fear out there even now because of gas main leaks. There was a point at which I watched firefighters run. Someone threw me forward. Um, a paramedic truck let me jump inside and drove me halfway. And then a New York City bus driver opened his doors of an empty bus and drove me here to the broadcast center. Um, to all of them, I mean, citizens of New York and, and uh, have remained amazingly calm but deeply frightened.